Hi and welcome to this two-part SolidWorks tutorial for a wooden doll's house furniture set. In part one of this tutorial we're going to create a furniture set for the downstairs lounge. This includes a fireplace, coffee table, sofa and plant. Then in part two we are going to create some furniture pieces for the kitchen, including kitchen units with functional doors, a dining table and chairs. The furniture I've designed is for a cottage doll's house tutorial I've previously created. You can follow the tutorial for this by visiting the SolidWorks blog. This tutorial shows a range of 3D features and sketch tools. The furniture is 1 12th scale or 1 inch scale as it's also known. So if you're modelling doll's house furniture based on your own furniture, remember to scale it down. The doll's house I created is perfect for this scale. The decals I've used for this tutorial are available to download if you wish but is not necessary for this tutorial. You can just add appearances or leave the furniture plain. As seen in this rendering done in SolidWorks Visualize, I have also created some furniture for the doll's house upstairs rooms, which will be available to download in the SolidWorks blog if you would like to download and see how they were created. There will also be some extra accessories in there too. This tutorial will be quite speedy, so feel free to pause as we go along. To begin, open a new part. We're going to start with the coffee table for the lounge furniture. Sketching onto the top plane, use the centre rectangle and starting from the axis, draw it 50 by 100 mil. And use sketch fillet to fill up all four corners by 5 mil. You can then extrude the sketch by 6 mil. 6 mil is normally the go-to thickness for furniture of this scale. This is to ensure that it is sturdy enough for children not to break them easily. For the table legs, sketching onto the front plane, use the centre line as a guide and draw a 6 mil line along here. Then use the line to go down by 31 mil, cross by 6 for the thickness and up by 8 mil to where we will have a support piece. Then go in by 3 mil, up by 3 and back here by 3. Go back to the top of the edge and close the profile. Extrude the table leg mid plane by 40 mil unmerged. All features will be unmerged, so remember this for other parts. It's useful to keep solid bodies separate to not only see the individual components of the furniture, but also for applying any appearances or decals later on. To add some details, start a sketch on the outer face. Draw a centre rectangle from the middle of the bottom edge here. I'm doing this 12 by 28 mil. Then create a guide 6 mil in and 4 mil down. And from the point, draw a 15 mil by 4 mil corner rectangle. With the rectangle still highlighted, use the linear sketch pattern and go into the right like this. Change the dimension gap to 8 mil and the instances to 4 to look like this. Extrude cut the sketch through all. Because I started the part from the centre axis, my right plane is through the middle of the part. So I can just copy the leg over from here using mirror bodies with the leg body selected. Because most wooden doll's furniture is glued together, it can need extra support to strengthen it. To add extra support to the table, sketch onto one of the leg side faces and use the rectangle to fill in the gap we left in the legs. Going from one side to the other like this, extrude the sketch by 40mm or select a vertex from the other side of the legs. Remember to keep it unmerged. Save the part as coffee table and here you can either close it or add some appearances and decals as you go along. Our next piece of furniture is a fireplace. Starting on the front plane, use the centre rectangle and from the axis draw it 6 by 120mm. Extrude the sketch by 25mm and fill up the front two corners by 5mm. Sketch back onto the front plane and from the inner point of the fillet, draw a 64 by 20 mil rectangle like this on both sides. Extrude these by 20 mil unmerged and start another sketch on the front plane. This time, filling in the inner space here with a rectangle and extruding it by 6 mil. Back onto the front plane, draw a 20 by 110 mil rectangle along the tops here, extruding it by 20 mil unmerged. Then for the top of the fireplace, sketch back onto the front plane. 
use the midpoint line to draw a 60mm line along here, 120 in total, and turn it into a 6mm rectangle. From here, extrude this by 25mm. Finally, to add some logs to the fireplace, sketching onto this face of the fireplace, use the circle to draw 9 and 12mm circles like this. I just copy and paste to add more and use move entities to put them where I want them, making sure that they're not overlapping and that they look like they're stacked onto each other along the bottom extrusion of the fireplace like this. Extrude all the logs by 12mm and remember to unmerge as you go. Save the fireplace and close it if you don't wish to add any appearances. Our next piece is a sofa. Starting a new part, selecting the top plane for a new sketch, using the centre rectangle and drawing from the centre axis, it should be 45mm by 106 Extruded by 6mm, this forms the base structure for the sofa seats. For the sofa's arm, sketch onto the front face of the extrusion and use the line tool. Trace down this edge by 6mm go in by 3mm, go in by 3mm to create a joining point, down by 11 cross by 6mm for the wood thickness and up by 50mm, then just follow it round and close the profile off like this. Extrude the sketch up to the vertex here or by 45mm, either is fine, and untick merge result and okay it. To add some detail to the arm, soften this edge with a 5mm fillet, then sketching onto the outer face, use the centre rectangle to draw the bottom cutout shape. From the centre of the edge, it should be 12mm by 34 These rectangles create 6 by 6mm feet on the furniture. This is a running feature in the set. Add a centre line from the corner going 6 by 6mm, and draw a 20 by 4mm rectangle off that. Using the linear pattern, pattern the rectangle spaced at 7.5mm apart with 5 instances. You can then extrude cut the sketch by 6mm through the arm. Then select in the right plane and mirror, select the sofa arm body to mirror it over. Sketching onto the back face of the sofa here, view from the front and draw a 45 by 100 mm rectangle. Use sketch fillet to fill up the top two corners by 5mm and extrude it by 9. For the sofa's cushions, sketch onto this face and using the corner rectangle, starting from the corner, starting from here, draw the cushion 42mm by 50 and sketch fill at the front corners by 5mm. Extrude the seat by 15mm unmerged and fill it its top and bottom faces by 2mm to look like this. I can then just mirror the body over from the side face. With the sofa done, save the file and close it. The final piece for the lounge is a plant pot. Starting a new part, sketch onto the front plane and use the line tool to create a revolve profile of the pot. Start from the axis and sketch up by 32mm, out by 15 down by 6 and in by 3, then go down level with the axis and close the profile. Fill it these three outer corners by 1mm and revolve the profile from this edge. For the plant leaves, sketch back onto the front plane and using the centre line, draw a guide up from the centre of this edge by 55mm. Then use the midpoint line with full construction ticked and from the centre of the guide go out by 9mm then turn on dynamic mirror entities with the centre line and use the spline to join up the points on one side to create a simple leaf shape. You can then extrude this mid plane by 1mm and unmerge it. I'm then going to use move slash copy bodies to move and copy the part. Ensure that copy is ticked here and move the leaf 2mm along the z-axis by typing it into this box. Then repeat the process with the same leaf, but move and copy it backwards along the z-axis at minus 2mm. The leaves would probably be made of felt, so I'm going to add a bit of a bend to the outer leaves using the flex tool 
it should make them flop down a little. Selecting the front leaf body and moving the flex triad down so that the bend line is at 29mm on the y axis near the bottom of the leaf. That way the bend line is hidden by the pot. I'm bending the front leaf by minus 55mm to look like this. Repeat this process to the other leaf, ensuring that it goes the opposite way. You can play around with how much it is flexed. Save and close the plant pot once you're done. That completes the lounge furniture set. Watch out for the next part of this tutorial to create the kitchen furniture set. Thanks for watching.